and good night to everybody. Um, welcome to join our ICC webinar today again. And I'm Monica Yuin Chiu from Taiwan Changi Memorial Hospital. And uh, it's also my honor to moderate this talk of Dr. Kyutoku today. Please allow me to make a simple introduction for him. Dr. Kyutoku is now the vice superintendent of Nala Hospital, and he's also the president of MPO Craniofacial Center in Japan. He was done craniofacial surgery fellowship in Chang'an Memorial Hospital wow. in 1990, and he majored in plastic reconstructive surgery and also cranial maxillofacial surgery, especially the surgical management for cranial synostosis. He published several articles in book chapters, either in English or Japanese. Today, Dr. Kyudoku well talks about the very early surgical management of cranial synostosis. I believe that everybody looks forward to his presentation just like me. So now, without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Kyudoku. Hello, oh, thank Professor you. Kyudoku. Uh, hi, everyone. Hello, hello. For invitation to your ICC webinar tonight, very happy to have time with you and my friend in Taiwan again. I am Dr. Kyoto from Osaka, Japan. In 1990 to 1991, I studied Changung Memorial Hospital craniofacial surgery under Dr. Yurei Chen. At the time, he's just 44 years old. It's amazing. Uh, may we share the slide, please? Could you see the slide? Oh, yes. Um, yes. yes, Professor Kyotoku, you can share your slide again. Yes. Could you see? Uh, now we can't see. I Would you please share the slides again? Uh, green. Yeah, the green, the green one. Oh, very good. And the professor, you can make it full screen. Yes. How to... You can make it um, full screen, just... Uh, a little bit um, to the left. Left? There is a button. Uh, uh, close to the, uh, the miners, uh, yeah, your, your mouse, a little bit to left, left, left. Uh, uh -huh. Not all. okay. Maybe we can uh, proceed uh, in this uh, fashion. No problem. Um, it sh um, maybe it should be on the right, the right side. The right side there is uh, the full screen. Yes. Yes. So first, this one. Yes. Finally. Okay. Could you see? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes, we can see it. Very yeah. good. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Uh, now we, we can see it now. No. Yeah, Professor, you have to Professor, share again. Would you please share it again? Green one. Yes, green one. Sorry. Uh, no joke.
this this one would you please share your slides again yes could you see the slide no uh not yet not yet Okay, we can see it now. But not full. But not full slide. Ah, uh, would you please, would you please, um, there, there's a small button which is on the right lower side, the right this, lower side, there is a full screen button. Uh, a little bit left. This one. This one, yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, okay, it's full screen now. Finally, I'm finally. Here. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, this is nostalgic pictures. At the time, Changun was uh, already a worldwide uh, big institution. It's a node of king, kingdom. There are so many plastic giants here. Uh, Dr. Fu Chan Wei, Hon Chi Chen, David Chuan, and Samuel Chen, uh, neuros, no, microsurgery. And Dr. Yan Burn, uh, Dr. Wong, eye surgery, Dr. Tsai, head and neck, and Dr. Nodo, and my ex-boss, Dr. Yure Chen. And my brothers, who are now big men, uh, Philip had just came back from Toronto and Runjo Ro uh, became uh, attending doctor with uh, wearing the white long coat. He was smiling. I, I remember the day very well. The experience as a student of craniofacial surgery and uh, fruitful days there has been still my uh, talisman. I treasured for my career, maybe forever of my life. I start my talk and try to speak slowly, easy to understand my Janglish. The three decades has passed since then. I want to talk here, my small, experience of operations facing a revolutionary change of the procedure, instrument, and diagnostic ways. Looking back those years, illustrating every steps, and finally, nowadays, arrival points. It is happy that age I walked was filled with transition and feel the history change. Here is a history of surgical management of cranial synostosis in Japan. The first period was started by a neurosurgeon, suturectomy via coronary incision since late 60s. After two decades, plastic surgeon really participated in the surgery. It was beginning of the era of craniofacial surgery in Japan. In 1998, two Japanese revolutionary papers appeared, destruction of carbarium of the cranial synostosis. By the way, you know, 
this method that Elizabeth long bone elongation maneuver applied to mandible by McCarthy in 1992 is named destruction osteogenesis by Paul Tissier, who was the chairman at the Congress of North American Plastic Surgery in 1992. He's, he says slowly, destruction, osteogenesis, DOG. Approach happened at the audience at the time. Especially anterior part, destruction has been widely accepted for all types of cranial stenosis in Japan, but Western surgeon has not showed interest for years. In 2009, an English report broke the stubborn wall of the Western surgeons, posterior cranial ball destruction for syndromic cases in purpose of increasing intracranial volume. It was another revolution and the time goes down. Here's a paper from England introduced PVDO that was trigger that Western started destruction on the cranium. This method has been applied so rapidly in the world and several follow papers published. Derudelian reported volume change of PVD war was twice as big as FOA DOG. This is another paper from Japan. It's a algorithm of uh, PVDO. We have used computer imaging soft to analyze intracranial volume change after PVDO. This is a case of clover leaf. This is before the operation, five months, 11 months, we did uh, destruction 31 millimeters. The volume change is 235. This is 25 months. The skull shape is quite normal. Visually easy to catch the difference. The soft analysis applied for early seven cases and proved that volume change during the course seemed to be more effective and smaller age. of the patient. Moreover, PVDO for syndromic cranial stenosis has some additional products, such as improvement of a Chiari malformation, syringomyelia, and some regulation of the progressive facial deformity as well. So is PVDO is the last and ideal management for syndromic synostosis, first choice procedure? Maybe no. PVDO is basically applied for after age of five or six because the bone should be hard and thick enough for fixing the device of distractors. So we have to wait them, maybe no. We noticed a nostalgic suturectomy as an alternative for soft bone with plasticity and followed helmet induction is effective under eight months of age. A few reports said in 1998, Endoscopy assisted suturectomy is reported by David Jimenez, but this low key method has not long been spread, hiding number of DOG. We are now in the early diagnosis area. The review of the subdue procedure of uh, Jimenez was our inspiration 
go into the area of the pipe. I met my first case who underwent very early suturectomy, bifold syndrome. We did the surgery one month of age. We removed this area uh, much wider than uh, Jimenez's original procedure. He did uh, just four millimeter, but we sometimes uh, remove this suture uh, more than two centimeter, especially this area, pterion, should be removed widely. This is the helmet. The second surgery is done in seven months of age, Pfeiffer syndrome of this case. The skull shape is more symmetrical and more wider. This is the second case, Cruzon syndrome, suturectomy, or coronal suture is down on one month of age. Some change can be seen on this area. The face is more normal. It is interesting that we remove the anterior part, but total cranium goes better shape. The faces look more normal. Very early suturectomy may postpone second management. Normally, we did a PVDO around before one year, but this case can be wait until three years of age. This case, also faces not distorted. Surgeon's opinion is now changing in transition. Another option, endoscopy, suturectomy is now weapon into a period of five. In Japan, shape of the baby head has been more and more conscious by mothers and baby head clinic as serving a helmet is now very popular. That contribute the earlier diagnosis of real craniosynosis out of positional malformation. All the procedures, three types of procedures being performed in younger age, year by year. Uh, this list shows our cases of early suturectomy during this seven years. 28 cases. Syndromic six, non-syndromic 22. Timing is mean 3.6 months of age. Body weight is 6.1 kilogram. Hemoglobin is mean 10.6 low. We followed current protocol is a uh, Seiku medical center in Tokyo. Nowadays, we use a navigation system to check the distorted uh, malformation, uh, such as uh, terion area. It's quite uh, effective procedure. This is a view of endoscopy assisted by the suturectomy, uh, this is a view. Uh, the bone is very soft and thin. We can cut by uh, scissors, ronjo, and a diamond, a uh, small one. This is a bone faucet on the after the bone. Half cut syringe is a spacer we use. It's quite useful. I uh, see the movie, just uh, three, 30 seconds. Here's a suture, fuse area. 
undermine the just beneath the fuse area. Then cut by scissors the fuse suture like this. and use tiny bone forceps. Then put some uh, surgical hemostat under the bone. This is the result of cases. Operation time is uh, 168 uh, minutes. Blood loss is mean 45.1 milliliters. Transfusion is done 25% of the case. Follow up 35 months, longest 79 months. Result is more than good without further operation. Purpose was achieved with just one procedure. It's uh, notable in, in quite early surgery case. Uh, some uh, representative cases. This is a patient of left plagiocephaly, suturectomy and helmet therapy, a head shape is normal. Remodeling spontaneously. This is another case of a scarfocephaly. Five months of age, the surgery is done. Just after the operation, the shape of the skull is still uh, normal. Uh, Dolicocephaly. This is uh, uh, one more images of scaphocephaly, like this shape, square, uh, removing of the suture, self re uh, remodeling three years after the operation. Sagittal snow stosis. Result is similar to some other reports. Simple synostosis has no secondary management, but syndromic multiple synostosis requires further treatment later. But when and how many times is another issue and very early suturectomy may be surely change the post-operative course. Essentially, endoscopy assisted surgery, but should not stick to small incision to avoid complications. This is the elder case, hard bone, more severe distortion. It is necessary to see the critical area under direct vision. This is also a wide exposure case. Here is some uh, vessel anomaly. So we need a uh, wide expose to see the critical area. This is uh, also a fan shaped sutureectomy. It's more effective than square excision. One more case. This is a VLSS Benz syndrome. We expose widely and remove the uh, landoidal suture like this, then applied helmet. It's four years later. The scar is uh, quite normal shape. This is a very severe Mercedes Benz syndrome. Uh, occipital is very concave in. So we cut the uh, posterior uh, coronal 
incision like this, they open this critical area. They remove this foramen magnum. Posterior part is removed. The shape is better. This is a, a left-sided uh, lamboid synostosis, also suturectomy. And bone excision, free of both of one year later. This is a rather a big boy, uh, light brachiocephalic suture. This kind of uh, case, we need a more excision of the bone and pterygoidectomy. This is just, just six days after. The face is already no more. Another case, BLSS, wide excision. See the posterior of, of part of the bone. It's much relaxed. Uh, two years later, scar is quite uh, balanced. Uh, this is a case of uh, coronal band syndrome. This is a uh, uh, late onset synostosis. See the coronal suture, but tight area is a uh, little bit posterior of the suture. So we have to remove it very widely here bilaterally, pterygonectomy like this. The shape is better. Non syndromic uh, synostosis. It's uh, less transfusion. There's no secondary surgery. Doricocephalic from remains some sagittal synostosis. I I I showed a uh, fan shaped. Excision is much uh, nicer than uh, square excision. Uh, non syndrome further management is uh, required only for syndromic. Non syndromic is not necessary. Syndromic case, secondary surgery is uh, necessary. Almost all cases. But uh, both of these, no complication in very early surgery. The distortion remained only by suturectomy in Pfeiffer syndrome. Still some, uh, another modified procedure is needed to uh, delay the suture fusion and uh, matured one like this case to recephaly. Uh, already four years old boy, uh, we did a uh, wide suturectomy and destruction. It's a hybrid uh, procedure. After the operation, the scar is very nice shape. Here of, of expand excision of suturectomy, return to uh, historically original. Early diagnosis, early operation prior to PVDO is uh, our latest uh, point. It's very early surgery with some risks, infant anemia, breathing of for uh, body weight. So we need a good anesthesiologist. Uh, last of my talk, I want to stress this point. We have a very good uh, anesthesiologist in, in our team. Summary, area diagnosis makes optimal time treatment uh, possible. Wider suturectomy prior to PVDO that reduce the uh, number of operations. Endoscopic procedure with a small incision. It's less in base, invasive and expected itself remodeling. Important is 
cooperation of a uh, experienced anesthesiologist should be a key team member. I thank uh, my co-workers, Dr. Ha uh, Harada, Doi, Oyoshi, Ueda, Inagaki, and Kamishi. And all the Taiwanese friends and teachers in Taiwan for invitation to ICC webinar for fruitful memories in Taiwan. Thank you very much. Hoping to really meet you in Taiwan again. Maybe uh, Dr. Runchoro's APCA next year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. And uh, I think now we would like to invite our panelist, Dr. Ting Chen Lu. Hello, Dr. Ting Chen Lu, can you hear us? Hi, hi, uh, Dr. Kyotoku. It's very nice to meet you. So um, I think it's a great speech uh, because I, I think uh, for the multiple suture cranial synostosis, I usually think that uh, if we can do suturectomy before the distraction, that will be better for the kids because you can uh, early expansion of the cranial valve. And um, I think that's maybe better for the kids. So I have uh, some question is, uh, what is your experience of trigonocephaly? Uh, because I, I saw your uh, pictures there's, you show a very good result of the um, uh, unicoronal cranial synostosis, but um, what is your experience of the um, metopic cranial synostosis? Okay, thank you for your question. Torigonocephaly is a, uh, it's a very special synostosis. Uh, if the case is very early, we may try a wide uh, V-shaped excision of a metopic suture, but uh, it's later case or distorted case, we have to do a conventional uh, forehead advan advancement, I think. Mm -hmm. So do you uh, need a spatial instrument to do the suturectomy for the trigonal cephaly because there's a curved shape of the forehead. So how, how far do you uh, go with the suturectomy? Uh, we start the suturectomy as a, a greater fontanel to go down to Nassion area with a V-shaped cut, with uh, just a scissors or small drill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I have another question is, um, do you uh, have see uh, the scalp effect after the wider uh, tutorectomy for the kids? Excuse me? Uh, do you have you ever uh, see the skull defect after several several years of the suturectomy? Uh, until now, no. Uh, maybe yes. Uh, Pfeiffer syndrome is very uh, difficult to mm. to two times of operation suturectomy and. PVDO, we still have some distortion. Mm -hmm. But others are uh, almost no. Okay. okay so uh, I have another question is that um, have you tried the suturectomy uh, without the helmet? Because, like in Taiwan, uh, the helmet, the patient need to pay by themselves. So um, we have uh, several patients, they cannot afford the helmet. So do you have the experience of the patient um, after the tuturectomy and they don't wear the helmet? Uh, 
in my country, uh, insurance will pay uh, mm -hmm. uh, just after the operation. Mm -hmm. uh, positional plagiocephaly or positional brachycephaly have to pay. It's uh, mm -hmm. very expensive. Okay. So um, thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Dr. Tingchen Lu. And uh, next one, I would like to invite Professor Lin Zhao Lo to give us comments or questions. <laughs> hello, Professor. Hi, hello, Dr. Q. Uh, it's very happy to see you again and listen to your talk. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it has been a long time. Uh, uh, you know, we met uh, in Japan, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so after your lecture, it seems to me that uh, cranial synostosis, the management is still quite controversial worldwide because uh, each different center may have their mm -hmm. uh, a different approach. Mm -hmm. And you do very early uh, suturectomy endoscopic approach. Yes. I, I enjoy your approach. Uh, approach in, in, the, uh, in the sense that this is really uh, uh, less aggressive and patient, uh, you know, after operation, uh, uh, less mobility and you report no operation. And you report that uh, it may uh, uh, defer or delay the second uh, operation in the future. Now, what kind of possible second operation that you may have in your follow-up, the patient? Oh, it uh, depends on the case. You, if the patient has still a small scar, we need a posterior cranial board expansion. Just a uh, shape and ICP was normal. It's not necessary to uh, expand or wait for later years. That is uh, the reason the very early surgeries are effective for second or third maneuver. It's uh, it postponed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your answer, and I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Lunjolo, and also Professor Kyudoku. And the next one, I would like to invite Professor Clement Wing to give us the comments and questions. Hello, Professor. Professor Lin. Hi, uh, Professor Kyudoku. Yes, uh, nice yeah. to meeting you on the web. Actually, I, I get to know you that from your previous many uh, uh, drawings for the orthognathic surgery during the time you, you are uh, here uh, as Professor Ray Chen's uh, 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 fellow. And uh, actually, personally, I, I don't have uh, much experience in the cranial synostosis. But uh, I have some question that there's still some controversy about uh, the, uh, the, the synostosis deformity and the IICP, the intracranial uh, pressure increase. Uh, people believe that if the uh, pressure is not increased, uh, there will be no uh, functional uh, deficit. But in our uh, plastic surgeon, usually we see the uh, anatomical uh, changes, such as the uh, velopharyngeal airway, the, the uh, short velum or the insufficient closure of the uh, pharyngeal airway. Then we would expect some, some uh, minor or very mild deficit uh, in patient's uh, uh, speech. And also, uh, because personally, I do uh, some obstructive sleep apnea surgery. So when we see 
a relatively small airway, then the, the patient usually they are uh, trying very hard to compensate. So there's always some uh, physiological compensation uh, for, for from the patient side. So they are always trying to balance between the deformity and their function. So do you think in your experience, do you think that there still could be some, uh, some possibility that uh, the patient is having some uh, physiological adjustment uh, for those patients with uh, deformity, but not having ICP. And actually they are, they are having some uh, difficulty to, to balancing, doing the balancing and expend a lot of effort. Okay. Um, I know your question. Upper airway problem is, I don't think uh, the uh, very tight uh, relationships ICP increase. But uh, digital printing of the skull is yeah. sometimes uh, uh, show the ICP increasing. But uh, normally, around eight months to five years, uh, no more child has some digital printing. And uh, upper way airway problem has sometimes seen in syndromic synostosis case, but very early surgery, suturectomy, sometimes uh, release this kind of uh, breathing problem. Is, is this uh, answer your question? Uh, yes, yes, some part. And also, also would there be some deficit in the brain function, the neurocognitive function? Because uh, there's still some difficulty to, to evaluate the very early child or baby, their neurocognitive function uh, uh, it, with, uh, with the cranial synostosis because their age, uh, probably because uh, their age is small and their uh, function may not uh, be able to, to early detect it. So uh, maybe there could be some, some difficulty for, for a clinician to, to understand the, the, the difficulty of the patient. This is real. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, uh, Dr. Chu. Okay, uh, thank you, Professor. And um, the next one, I would like to invite Professor Ray Chen to give us comments. Hello, Professor. Hello. Hello, QDoc. Oh. Very nice to see you here. Nice to see you. Well, uh, you have very good results, and uh, I'm very glad and happy to see your team. It's quite strong that you can handle this small child in the early surgery. Uh, I know that you do very consistently and insist on the good result. Well, one of my uh, question is that, how can you advise your patient's parents to receive this very early surgery? The second question is that, do you do the endoscopic surgery yourself? And how about the neurosurgeon? How can he help you? Thank you. I, I talk to uh, babies, parents, everything, uh, including uh, very uh, medical complication. But um, I show the, my, my previous cases and my, my opinion, my hope um, and possible result. 
almost all the patients follow me, follow our teams. Uh, we don't have uh, any patient refuse the operation until now. The Very second, nice. second question is, uh, I do uh, sometimes. It's, it's, uh, our team is uh, kind of mixed. Uh, sometimes I do the cut of the cranial bone of the baby. Sometimes a neurosurgeon too. We are mixed. Uh, it's it's not a uh, separate work during the surgery. That is a, a team, I think. Very nice. Congratulations. I hope to see more and more your papers comes out and your results. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Oh. And um, if there's no uh, any comments or um, questions from the panelists, then um, there's questions from the audience. Um, from Dr. Honda, uh, he asked that uh, for the patient's lymphoid suturectomy, how do you manage patient's posture immediately after surgery is prone position or supine position? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Honda. Uh, supine position is okay, no problem. Okay, so um, it's supine position. Okay, and um, is there any other questions from the audience? Please feel free to ask any question in the column. Or is there further comments from um, our panelists? Oh, um, Professor Ling asked that, uh, do you use spatial pillow? Professor Kudoku, um, is there any need for a spatial pillow or any device for the position after operation? Uh, just a soft pillow. Just a soft pillow, okay. And um, another question is that, um, do you owe for the fellowship? How can one have this great opportunity to learn from you? Yes. This is a good question. Anytime. So how, how do we apply the fellowship from you or how can we contact? Uh, but I, 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 I'm retiring for, for two years from now, but I have a, a very good team. Anytime uh, uh, the young surgeon who wants to study craniofacial can uh, uh, access our team. Uh, you can see any time to see our operation. Please come to Japan. Please come to Osaka, Takatsuki, or Nara. Anytime you want. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Um, so you had better to go to Nara and also Osaka. So you, you work both both in um, these two places, or uh, where is the major? Uh, several places. Sometimes Takatsuki, sometimes Nara, sometimes uh, Osaka Medical University. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Is there any other questions? Uh huh. If there is no more questions, uh, we can see from the pictures that Professor Kyotoku share in our screen. Uh, there is one guest from the 
the Professor Fayaz is coming. And you can see that Professor Fayaz is in the first row of the very left, the third one here. So yeah, at that time, when we had uh, this, uh, the seventh Asian Pacific Queen Official Congress, uh, yeah, so we gathered together here. <laughs> so I think today is a very special day. Hope all the audience in the ICC can have a group photo together too. Okay, so I would like to invite all of you and to show you a screen and uh, to give us very beautiful smile and with our speaker, Professor Kyotoku, okay? So please turn on your screen and to share uh, with us uh, your smile. And uh, later I will come to three and uh, take a photo from our screen. Yes, hello, hello, Dr. Bona. Hello, Dr. Sato from Japan. Hello, Junior uh, from Dr. Wayne, Dr. Honda. Okay, uh, so I will come to three and uh, please give me the smile. Okay, please. One, two, cheese. Eat. Very good. Uh, and I would like to take the second one and uh, probably you can give me a heart or you can give me a, a victory, the, the gesture. Okay, I will count to three. Uh, one, two, cheese. Okay, thank you very much for uh, all of your participation here with uh, us and with the Professor Kyotoku. Okay, thank you, uh, our moderator, uh, Dr. Monica Chu. And thank you, thank our you. panelist, uh, Dr. Tin Chen Lu. And a special thank you to all our faculty team from the Chang'e Memorial Hospital Queen official team. And a special thank you, Professor Kyotoku. So by the way, I have to introduce our next ICC webinar here with you. Yep. So the next time is our next webinar here is the two weeks uh, later. And uh, this is one of our pre-Congress of uh, Chang'e Forum 2022. Uh, we invited four special guests uh, in all the aspects, the special field of the CLEP treatment. Uh, remember the last time that we had the Professor Christopher Tadarian. Today, Professor Kyotoku has cited his paper as well for the uh, cases of a patient receiving the synostosis surgery. So two weeks later, uh, Dr. James C. Will, will give us a special lecture to introduce how to treat a patient with the clap palate. So please and uh, come on and uh, continue to come to join our ICC webinar two weeks later. Of course, the following, we have two very special inviting speaker, Professor uh, Maria Niazzini and uh, Professor Bonnie Pergua as well. Yeah, so finally, thank you again to join uh, the ICC and the thank you, Professor uh, Kyotoku. And uh, good morning and uh, good evening for everyone. And then looking forward to see you again. Thank you. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Thank you, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. A very special guest will come again. Professor Yue Chen is coming. So I would like to invite all of you to have a group photo with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, may I have the Professor Yuri Chen to show your smile with us? Uh huh. Where are you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, hello, Professor Chen. Okay, I'll probably disappear. So, so no worry, we can have the third one, please. Yeah, today is very special. It's the first time to have the third one picture. Okay, I will count to three. You can give me any one you want to give me the gesture. Uh, give me a big smile. Uh -huh. uh, okay, I will count to three, thank you. Okay, one, two, cheese. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. See you. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.
<笑> OK， thank you， Monica， thank you， thank you， OK， thank you， 主委，感谢老周，主委来了，<笑>主委出现了。<笑> OK， 好，那谢谢，谢谢。谢谢，祝你在日本一切顺利。好 ，Thank you。先单调。哦、oh, ，我要，我我那个这个月要去拜访那个 Professor Tamai。OK。Tamai。我要去，也是要去奈良拜访 Professor Tamai。<笑> yeah。So safe trip， 你的收获满满。嗯哼。收获满满，<笑>谢谢，谢谢诸位，谢谢辉哥，谢谢。看起来气色很好哎、欸，气色很好，睡得比较饱。<笑>你在长庚的时候好很多，<笑>因为这里又不用工作，睡得比较饱。<笑>日本空气比较好，哎、欸，对对对，日本空气好是一个很大的重点，我觉得。对，日本猫猫。毛孔比较不会卡灰尘，<笑>对对对，真的真的差很多，差很多。我在这里完全皮肤完变变得很好，而在台湾不行，嗯、在台湾灰尘可能太多了，都一直长痘痘什么的。对，对日本空气真的很不错。这一段有录下来，有都在我们的 video 里面，<笑>还还在 t a 还在 t a 中 ，Yeah， 还在 t a 这段可以卡掉。<笑> OK， 好，我应该。谢谢。See you. OK, thank you, thank you, Doctor Fayas. Bye bye. Thank you, see you. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you for your support. Bye.